second quarters of the VNO station were found. The friends also give private tours of the park any time of the year. Just ask a member of the train crew or a brand new one to bring the park for sure for more information. Falkland is next. Falkland.
anomaly, the Hercules Company was born to continue gunpowder reduction. As we exit the bridge, the site on the right and left is where part of the Hercules Company was located. Ashland Incorporated of Covington, Kentucky, acquired Hercules in 2008, and a little bit of our history disappeared when the old Hercules buildings were taken down. The managed meadow and wetland areas on the running right of the train were once part of the Hercules Research Station landfill. In 2011, the landfill was permanently capped and work began toward restoring the area to native wetlands and developing a balanced wildlife management program. The wildlife management plan was designed to promote biodiversity of native plant species, reduce invasive species, and to increase habitat for ground nesting and boxing nesting birds. Bird surveys and nest, nest box inspections were completed several times a year in order to track the success of the wildlife management plan. In 2014, the Wildlife Habitat Council certified the site as a wildlife network area, recognizing the successful cooperation between Ashland Incorporated and the local community to create, conserve, and restore wildlife habitat on corporate land. The Wildlife Habitat Council reviews the certification every two years, and in 2016, Ashland's Wildlife Network program was recertified. Wooddale is next. Wooddale.
but it too was carried away by the raging floodwaters of 2003. This new bridge was completed in the fall of 2008 and is one of three covered bridges in the state in Indian Capital County. Those of you on the running right side of the screen will probably notice the bridge that's running alongside our track between the top and the right clay tree. That ditch is the remains of a building that once supplied water to Delaware's first iron rolling mill here in Woodvale. This was by no means a small operation. In 1832 alone, the Delaware rolling mill produced 40 tons of sheet iron, 110 polypropylene steel, and 9,000 steel shovels. The town of Woodvale was named after Allen Wood, one of the prominent owners of the mill, and a member of the original Wellington and Western Board of Directors. This little community had a post office, a church, school, general store, hotel, and a train station, of course. And speaking of the station, if you think real estate prices are high today, let me take you back to the 1860s when the original Wilmington and Western decided to build a station here in Woodale. The railroad directors paid the whopping sum of $5 to buy the land for that station. In 1889, the site was bought by the Marshall family of Yorkland and converted to the manufacture of wood pulp paper. By the early 1900s, two tons of paper were produced here each day. When it burned in 1918, it was not rebuilt and became the tranquil area you see today. Thank <laughs> you. 
endured by all of the struggles.
Over time, this area became known as the Hill. Today, we call it Mount Cuba. Mount Cuba is actually two hills, which rise to a height of 350 feet. Today, Mount Cuba is best known as the home of the Mount Cuba Observatory and the Mount Cuba Center. The observatory is located on a hill about one mile to the right of our train and is open to the public on select nights throughout the year. The Mount Cuba Center is a 650-acre wooded oasis dedicated to the conservation of plants, which are native to the Appalachian Piedmont region. Our next stop will be the Mount Cuba Picnic Road. Noel Rose is the ground with the picnic tables here to make the use of our passengers. All you have to provide is a picnic lunch. Our train will be stopping here for about 25 to 30 minutes. You're invited to get off the train and step forward. All we ask is that parents take close attention to your children and keep them away from the edge of the train. Please remain seated until the end of the year and we're off the train for the police stop and the train can have put down the yellow step boxes. Again, we'll be here for about 25 to 30 minutes. Please return to the train and take your seats when you're here for a blast from the engine door. Mount Cuba Picnic Road is next. Yeah. Well, you know no one's going to be looking for registration on that. Be barked up. Okay. 